It is Wednesday the 10th of May 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is episode 6 of Boruto, The Final Lesson. That was phrased a bit weirdly, as in the name of episode 6 is The Final Lesson, not this is episode 6 of Boruto, The Final Lesson. There's there's no mini-series that I'm aware of called Boruto, The Final Lesson, yet. Anyway, let's jump straight into... Story! So the first four slides I'm going to present here are just to demonstrate that this continues straight on after episode 5, where Shino gets possessed, because he feels like he's not a very good teacher and stuff, and he mentions that he's willing to kill Boruto, Shikadai, and Mitsuki. So it's, it's pretty standard, we know the drill, as it were. So then, as he's chasing them, the kids escape and hide under a tree. They don't get very far, though, because Shino is right behind them in a cloud of bugs, because it's kind of Shino's deal. So they chase after him, and as the kids are running away, Shikadai, in this very shaky screenshot that I took, I kind of took it between frames, but it was a slow motion shot, if that makes sense. So he was kind of running, and it came out that it looked like there was a double image of Shikadai for some reason. But anyway, they notice as they pass a little river that the bugs are kind of interrupted. They don't follow them. So it gives Shikadai an idea. And then a little further on, they're running away, Shikadai and Boruto, and Mitsuki, standing on a tree, mentions he wants to incite them, which is a bit of a suspicious thing, which I'll discuss a bit later. And then a little later on, he catches up with them, and then suggests that the best way to deal with Shino is to kill him. Which again, kind of leads to the concept that maybe he's trying to lead Boro and Shikandai down a particular path. He's trying to push them to see what they'll do, which again is an interesting thing. And this obviously gets the response from Shikadai, who still doubts him from the last episode. If you remember, he mentioned that it's a little suspicious that all these shadowy people are popping up around the time that Mitsuki pops up as well. So yeah, it's interesting to see that Shikadai still doesn't really trust him. And honestly, (laughs) he's got pretty good reason, because they just showed from those two screenshots, it seems that something is up with Mitsuki. So the next two slides uh, just show that Shino does catch up with them, and after they devise a plan, both Boruto and Shikadai are bait. So he pins them to a tree, but then Mitsuki uh, grabs him from behind, throws him under the water along with himself, because they don't think bugs can move underwater. Shino kind of proves them wrong, but Mitsuki uses some lightning style anyway, and electrocutes them both underwater is not av- advisable just saying if uh if you're in that situation ever and you can somehow control electricity then a maybe monetize that ability i mean you can control electricity that's great but b don't don't do it underwater because you will die um but that's fine but we do see this brief flash of like a seal i'm gonna call it a seal it's a weird thing with little chakra lights on it, a little demonic face it's kind of all red And that, I think, is meant to represent what's inside Shino, because after we see that brief shot of all the lights kind of lighting up and maybe extinguishing, we we see that the shadow kind of leaves Shino's mouth, and he's no longer possessed. So every episode we're getting a little bit of a glimpse more of what exactly this possession thing is. So that's kind of interesting. It's still very unclear. Obviously, it is just a weird seal thing at this point, but we at least get a little bit more of a glimpse of it. And then the penultimate slide is we see that Shino kind of reports this to the Hokage, who is Naruto. And Naruto mentions that there's been a lot of activity recently, a lot of these weird possessions, and he'd like Shino's help on a kind of task force or something to help look into it. So that'll be interesting and no doubt play into the next few parts. And of course, it is time for the next time slide. This time, it's a bit vague. I couldn't quite tell what the episode's about. Chocho mentions that she's losing weight. So I think maybe either she's been possessed or... It's just an episode about Chocho, but I'm I'm happy either way. I do like Chocho. I, I don't know. I, I like the sort of laid back feeling of the ep- these episodes. So this should probably be quite a easy going episode next time. Don't expect much plot because <laughs> I'm certainly not. Now that the story is past. It is time for extras and theories. There's only three this week. There's three little things I noticed. There's not much going on because this whole episode was quite a constant stream. It was just focused on Shino chasing the kids. So 
it wasn't much to divulge, really. But, so I did notice that one of the fights early on, that Mitsuki has his father's snake arm ability thing. That's cool. It's nothing really important. I think they mention it later on. This is a bit weird he can do it, but we know he's Orochimaru's son because of Boruto of the movie, so it makes sense that he has long, extendable snake arms and stuff. The next slide, the next slide I found a little sad, which is that Anko, I think I mentioned this in the previous uh, episode, but Anko has gained a lot of weight, which is kind of sad. I'm also, so I've recently been playing Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and in the adventure mode around the Hidden Leaf Village, you can run into her, and she does mention that she's, now that everything's at peace, she's going to be really bored, so she's just going to start snacking on candy and sweets, and I guess it's kind of, it's a bit of a weird direction for Anko to take, but then I guess, you know, it is a little sad to see, but it makes sense, I suppose. And then the last one, at the end, when she now saves Boruto and, and Mitsuki from under the water, he summons a large bug. I don't remember Shino being able to summon large insect things before, but then he is a Joni now and a teacher, so he's kind of got that extra power level, so he's probably got a summon contract. That about wraps it up. I'm just going to give a few thoughts, a few things that struck me as I was watching the episode, and just a general wrap-up review thing. I'd say that this episode, it was a little standard, but it did go quite fast. Nothing major happened, ultimately, when I think back to it. Nothing big happened, but it is kind of nice to see the whole Shadow Possession storyline move forward a bit and the adults acknowledge that it exists. I also like the fact that people seem to be able to get possessed no matter their skill level. I think someone mentioned this, that even though she knows a Jonin, quite a powerful ninja, he was still open to being possessed, so... I think it's an emotion-based thing. It's when people have doubt in their mind or something like that. I'm not too sure. Again, it's still very, very vague. I'm also really digging the fact that Mitsuki is a bit unpredictable at the moment. It's hard to really tell what his agenda is. He seems to have a plan in mind, but he hasn't even revealed it to the audience yet, which is interesting, I think, because it keeps us guessing and will probably, I think it'll probably lead to a very interesting conclusion. Maybe he is possessing everyone, or maybe he's fighting against it. Still very up in the air, but I really do like that they're still staying with the whole Mitsuki is mysterious thing. And finally, I'm also kind of looking forward to seeing the adults start to deal with this. There's like task force that Naruto may be putting together or something. Because honestly, whilst Boruto is the most fun because you get to see the kids of characters you know, I'd still quite like to see what the adults are doing now. And maybe, maybe just see the adult ninjas that we've kind of grown up with. Just see how they deal with situations like this. That would be pretty cool. So that about does it for this episode. As I said, a little light on plot, a little light on everything, really, because, you know, the story was so focused on one thing. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I will be putting up another episode in a week's time. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>